Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, your most perfect psychic warrior, and today it is time for episode 35 of my Paradise Killer Let's Play, in which we will be exploring that island in order to re-talk to the people we've already talked to who are stuck there. And uh, I, actually, before we do that, is this guy... This is the first NPC in the game we've seen who is not pivoting like a fake, uh, fake sprite. Does that mean we can get a look at the back of him if we go up over the top? I've been wondering for ages, like, what's the cake situation? Oh, I see. Huh. His front is exactly the same as his back. An interesting, uh, situation for him to experience, I'm sure. I'm a little bit disappointed, to be honest. Um, I would have been very pleased if there had been exactly one guy in the entire world that you could see the other side of. But, um, that's life, I guess. That's Paradise Killer, baby. Full of potential. Getting your hopes up. Ultimately fairly shallow. But anyway. And I've already forgotten what I was saying. But what I was saying is kind of irrelevant, because what's important is what these guys are going to say when I come up to them and point to little things in my investigatorial notebook and say, hey, what's the deal with this? Why are you being like that? Do you got some kind of problem? Some kind of problem that has uh, inspired you to perform terrible feats. Also, you may or may not hear groans in the background. That is the terrible pipes, which have decided to become extremely noisy of late. The landlord won't have them fixed for another month or two, so that's fun. I think I'm going to talk to Henry first, because I prefer him. Just as a rule. Henry Division. Our precious, sweet, falsely accused boy who is probably completely fine and may or may not currently still be inhabited by a demon, but that's, uh, that's really his business, rather not mine, you know? Anyway, time to ask questions. Did you go through the barracks last night? Why are you asking? The only statue of New Knight is in the barracks. Well, I guess I did then. Good investigating. You nailed it. Any fucking idea how that happened? What everyone is saying about what you did last night might be wrong. Some excitement, finally! Did you experience a comms blackout last night from the reality folding drive burst? Does he even have a phone? He's a prisoner in a magic cell. What do you think? What can you tell me about the murder of Grace Bloodlines? I killed her, didn't I? You were found guilty of it. Then why the fuck are we talking? You know I did it. Should I just directly ask him or should I attempt to reassure him? Hmm. He might still not tell me if I just ask him about the details, but on the other hand, if I try and reassure him... Like, I'm not sure if the, you open up different paths with the dialogue options at all. Uh, it might just be a false, you know, a false choice. A guilty conviction and the truth are not the same thing. If I'm the suspect in so many crimes, I must be the bad guy, right? Well, that's what I'm here to find out. Did you see Witness to the End last night? Oh, I do know about that. Loads, I know, so much. My mind is bursting with knowledge about whatever you're talking about. Fuck off. Helpful as ever. Let's talk, Henry. What now? What is it like living as a citizen on the islands? Just swell. Non-stop praying and working. You were in school when you were possessed. We all get an education. Most of us don't need it. We're just going to be put to work down in the caverns. Some get cushy office jobs, but the rest of us slave away. Maybe you fucks would resurrect your gods faster if any of us gave a shit. Kidnapping and enslaving people really isn't the way to get a crowd enthused about the prospect of reviving monsters from the other side of the cosmos. Whatever. <laughs> Relationship increased. Well, that was less enlightening than I would hope. I really want to get into that safe in his house. Ah, we know all this already. 
That's what got us onto the uh, uh, the barracks anyway. Grand Marshal Bakagoon 14. What about you wanting to expand the roles of the marshals? Where have you pulled that from? You want exorcism to be a marshal role? It makes sense we hunt them, we might as well do the next step. Sounds to me like you're making a land grab to boost the importance of the marshals. Believe what you want, Nenorosito. Nenori. Nenorosito. Yeah. Where did you say you were when you phoned witness? You make my life unbearable. I'm just trying to find out the truth. You're trying to find the wrong truth. I called him as I left the desolation cell. Well, I've been able to access your phone records and they say you were elsewhere. Nenorosito, where? Why don't you tell me where you really were? I was here. How did you access that data? Running witnesses phone through a comms tower. Estiprost? You tried to trace back the position of an encrypted phone through a comms tower? Of course the location is different, the encryption bounces the signal around. I'll take your word for it. Did you experience a comms blackout last night from the reality folding drive burst? No, I didn't, Nenorisido. What happened with the prisoners you removed from the barracks prison? It's classified, Nenorisito. I disagree. Why were they removed? Investigator, they were being processed before the slaughter ritual. We don't just open the prison gates and let them wander over to the temple. They were removed before the slaughter ritual, so what happened to them? They were processed and then returned to their cells. The logs don't show them being returned. You don't have access to the full martial network, so you can't prove that. You also don't get to question how I run my army. Well, it's still an interesting question to ask, because that would explain the uh, non martial guards which are the dead people outside of the front of the building. If I could find one of the living marshal guards, that would answer a lot of questions. The living people who were supposed to be on duty that night, but who were replaced with the corpses, so that uh, Aikiko would not have to suffer the murder of more of her guys. During Henry's exorcism ten years ago, you left Grace Bloodlines alone with him. Why are we talking about this? How does this relate to the council murder? That's what I'm trying to find out. Yes, I made a mistake. There seems to be a pattern. Heat on the street is that you're trying to expand the responsibilities of the marshals. You wanted to fold exorcism into the duties of the marshals. It should be helpful if a demonic threat killed our exorcist. I should kill you for that ex accusation. She never responds to the death threats. You know, she just gives up and stops pushing. Is Lady Love Dies successfully intimidated by death threats? Because that seems like a fatal weakness for the island's only investigator. What can you tell me about the demonic sigils on Grace's body? The same as found on Henry's mother. I've been told they weren't. Rena Division's sigils were scorched onto her by sustained close proximity to Henry. Grace's were carved into her flesh. Got any proof, Nenorisador? No solid proof, just a good testimony. Were you carrying a blade when you arrested Henry? Of course, I always carry my sword and a combat knife. Did you find a blade on Henry when you arrested him, or after he had killed Grace? No. So how did the sigils get carved into her body? No idea, demons. Thanks for the insight, Aikiko. Tell me about the message you got from Carmelina on the day of Henry's exorcism. What message? Carmelina sent you a message telling you to leave Grace alone with Henry. No, she didn't. I have a copy of the message right here. Someone's giving you false evidence. The architect was there that day, but she didn't tell me to do anything. She doesn't have authority over me. Then why did you step out of the room? I considered the scene and prisoner secure. I needed to make sure the architect was safe. Corrupted areas are full of danger. Why did you confiscate the photo of Grace Bloodline's neck from Doomjazz after the examination? She was murdered by someone possessed by a demon. Anything related to demon possession is classified. Is that standard procedure, or just for evidence that doesn't tie to the official story? Standard procedure. You think you're really smart and clever with your Snide snide insinuations, but you're not. You're wrong. It's like pulling teeth with her. Nothing but, uh, salt and denials. Did you see Witness to the End last night? 
He was at his apartment. My marshals secured him when Henry escaped. Go ask him about it. Have you got a minute? You're going to die. Humor me. Do you do anything outside of soldiering? Why are you so interested to know? We're all part of the Syndicate. I'm trying to establish a friendship. Why would I want to have a friendship with a dubi- That's a new one. Dubito Kule, like you. <laughs> I could explain the nature of friendship to this one. Maybe that- Maybe Aikiko just doesn't know what a friend is. Friends and relationships expand our worldview. They can also provide comfort and support. Chicalos. I have no idea how to pronounce any of these words. I think they're Romanian. Just tell me something about yourself. Do you have a pet? A pet? Fine. Two goldfish. <gasps> I need those. There we go. We're getting somewhere. Okay, es de dueros. What are their names? I'm not telling you that. What drew you to fish? Did you have them as a kid? In the barracks, just after I was taken in by the new knight army. I looked after them while I adjusted to military knife. Do you miss those days? War is no place for children, Prost. I did what I had to do. What about- That's it, I'm done. No more. Goodbye, no no Is there something else? No, it's nothing. Time to find out something useful. Aikiko, it seemed like you had something you wanted to say earlier. It was nothing. Spit it out, we're both busy. Do you know something about someone on the island? Fine, it's about Crimson. What about her? She came to me in secret to ask about becoming a marshal. I don't give this information up lightly, Nenorisito. She used to be a fine soldier. She was blessed by the gods for her role in repelling the 19th island evasion. I'm the only syndicate member allowed to be a marshal. There was nothing I could do for her. Why are you telling me this? Henry is your only suspect. Henry did it, no doubt. I'm just telling you there may be someone that would benefit from him doing it. Mm. I mean, I feel like I should thank her for that, but also she does. If she benefits, you benefit. Okay. If the new council go for increased militarization as a response to the murder, Crimson gets her wish and you get more power. Nutepuna kumine. You're making wild accusations. Just an observation. May your night be bright, and may you reach the moon. Well, that has shed almost no light whatsoever on the situation. I'm going to go back to the mainland before I attempt to digest all of this, and then I think I'm going to go talk to Crying Grudge, since I can. Uh, but man, I really thought I really thought I'd get some more out of them. I thought I might get a way into that safe from Henry. I thought I might find some more information in general. I'm starting to suspect that the arc this game is going to take. I mean, apart from the fact that clearly I should have been talking to these people loads and bouncing back and forth between them instead of rinsing the island for every clue I could find and then talking to all of them in sequence, um, that you're supposed to gather as much information as you can and then kick off the end game and do the trial. But I... But there might, like, there might not be like concrete proof or anything before then. I suspect it's going to amount to a huge pile of um, insinuations and circumstantial evidence, and then uh, you know, putting together a narrative based on that, I guess. Which is, on the one hand, good because that is much more like an actual investigation. Um, but on the other hand, I don't know, it does feel a little bit narratively unsatisfying. And also, it kind of makes it hard for me to tell when I should stop, you know? I'm also not sure whether I can be said to... Or whether I can be able to complete the sub-investigations uh, before I activate that final trial. Is there one trial that accounts for all of these investigations? Can I initiate different trials whenever I like for, for different, you know, specific crimes? Or is there just like a one big trial that deals with everything? I am unsure. Looks like I could get something more out of Yuri now. 
Other than that, I think it's just uh, Carmelina has a bit more for me. Grace Bloodlines has a bit more for me. Oh, and Witness has a bit more for me. But I'll talk to Crying Grudge first. I do also still need to find some odd items for some of these characters. Um, the side characters, specifically some ghosts. I should probably go around and check what each of the ghosts want from me because I've already forgotten almost all of them. But maybe I should, yeah, maybe I should also have a bit of a look back here and see if I can see if I can attempt to transgress the second holy seal and find out what's really going on in the crime scene. But I think I'll come back to that afterwards. First things first, crying grudge is accessible from somewhere. Where's the doctor at? There he is. Aha, there it is. And that's further away than I thought it was. I should have gone up and over the top. Oh well, that's fine. Crossing these beaches does remind me pleasantly of, you know, childhood you know, beach explorations. We never went on like fancy beach holidays, but uh, you know, in my my simulated my simulated childhood in my on my AI instantiation platform, of course. Um, but we used to go to tiny rural towns in the middle of nowhere that had nice beaches, and I would just explore, hop from rock to rock. Anyway. I might cut this short because my throat is all messed up. Oh hey, look! There's a thing on the end of his... Is that whiskey? Does he have secret whiskey? That's the best kind of whiskey. And that's the worst kind of place to fall in the water. I suppose I can go up over the top. I think I'll grab that. Since I'm here, does he have anything else for me? No, he doesn't. No further information. Can I hang out with him? Does the X clam mean that they're hangout withable? Got a sec, Doctor? Wonderful to see you again. You're the only one that doesn't call me the investigation freak. It's not nice to call people names, is it? That name was given to you derogatorily. You may have lived up to it, but you should be careful of the labels you let stick to you. Is that an intentional gag, considering he has a label that says, reads child labour stuck to his arm? It depends on your perspective. Like, look at that, he's got child labour... Industries? Child labour something. Uh... Boat pair? Goat pair, maybe? And MHI, which is Masahiro Heavy Industries. But, uh, yeah, a line from him about being careful what labels get stuck to you is pretty funny. How do you mean? Other people can see something about us we can't see ourselves, even if that opinion comes from a place of nastiness. On the other hand, it is easy to accept what others tell you about yourself. It's a fine line. You always go in for the real talk nowadays. Got something else you want to talk about? I don't know. Things just feel pretty heavy around here. You're not the one tasked with saving paradise. I'm not the right person for the job, but you are. You're forgiving and forgetting my past. Ah, whatever, we all make mistakes. Never been the type to bind people to their history. People change. I'm impressed, Doc. You didn't proposition me this time. I assume you're going to stop by again at some point before this is all over? We'll see. Okay, interesting. So I can... I can just... May the cosmos be a mystery. And may you reach the moon. So I can just, like, come talk to these people whenever, even if they don't have an exclamation mark. And they will still have new stuff for me, I suppose. I would imagine, based on my vague second-hand knowledge of game design, and from having played a frankly, frankly absurd number of video games in my time, hi, my Steam, like, body count is like 500 or something, you know? And that's to say nothing of the, uh, like, 70 Xbox games I had and how many PlayStation games. I'm rambling. The point is, I've played a lot of video games, and I don't remember why that was relevant. <laughs> When I started talking about how many games I've played, I had a whole a whole point for it, and I've already forgotten what that was. There may or may not be a little box popping up on the screen right now to tell you what exactly I had been going to have said. However, 
Um, that's a question for my editor, who is also me, in the sense that that's one of my subroutines spun off specifically for the purpose of editing my videos. Which is kind of a grim existence if I think about it. I should really check in with them. But, I think that's going to be it from me for today. Next time, let's have a word with real, actual, for realsies god, crying grudge. And that's going to be it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and share. I also stream on Twitch and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.